All right, so moving on, I would now, it's a great pleasure that I would like to introduce Rizka. Um, and Rizka is a doctoral student in public health in Sabellus Maret University in Indonesia. She's a lecturer, researcher, author, and complementary and alternative therapy midwifery practitioner. Her research interests include maternal and child health and reproductive health and HIV prevention. She's also an expert on reproductive health that highlights women's issues with HIV AIDS through the International AIDS Society. Um, and she has been working as a mentor. In 2022, she was an Emerging Voices Fellow. Risk has been a speaker in the Virtual International Day of the Midwife for several years now, and she presented her research in both 2021 and 2022, and again this year. So in 2021, she was awarded the Paragon Innovations Award for Southeast Asian Women and the Social Innovation of Health Initiative in Asia, Indonesia. And we're very excited to hear about Rizka's latest research, which is called Designing Digital Healthcare to Increase HIV Testing Among Pregnant Women in Indi Indonesia. So I'll now hand over to Rizka. Yeah. Okay, Terry. Uh, yeah. Thank you for the wonderful opening, and I will to uh, discuss about my, our research in Indonesia. The title is Designing Digital Healthcare to Increase HIV Testing Among Pregnant Women in Indonesia. So uh, we can move in the problem and solution uh, in our research to increase HIV testing among pregnant women in Indonesia. Data from report of the Ministry of Health of the Republic of Indonesia show that the prevalence of pregnant women experiencing HIV infection was 0.39%. Uh, In Indonesia, 694 the prevalence of pregnant women experiencing is HIV positive while at the Dr. Sanjito Hospital in Yogyakarta in 2020, there were 30 pregnant women with HIV. This issue should be of significant concern to the public, which should be more aware of the dangers of this infection, both for the mother and her child. One of the obstacles to handling HIV is late diagnosis, due to a lack of access to diagnostic services in health facilities. In addition, the negative stigma against this disease also makes people reluctant to diagnose to health facilities. So this is the table of HIV prevalence in different groups in Indonesia. You can uh, look at that uh, in the table. The 2014 health reforms in Indonesia advocate for increased universal health coverage for all Indonesians, including the provision of integrated human immunodeficiency virus programs with HIV testing to be available at community health centers and hospitals for pregnant women and also in puskesmas or public health centers and women of childbearing age. Annually in Indonesia, 40% of new HIV cases occur in women and childbearing age. So these women fall outside prescribed high risk groups. For example, in commercial sex workers, housewives, injecting drug users, and men who have sex with men, and female who have sex with female, and the steps increase in HIV prevalence among women to children and HIV policies and programs cannot remain ignorant of HIV transmission in women, especially among pregnant women. Pregnancy occurs among women living with HIV and as such infants are vulnerable to HIV transmission from their mothers through pregnancy, delivery and or breastfeeding and HIV prevalence in 0.4% in pregnant women will indicate that approximately 25 percent 25,000 women out of 6 million pregnant women are HIV positive at any one time in Indonesia. 
of concern is that pregnant women often find out their HIV status in the late state of pregnancy, resulting in late treatment for preventing mother-to-child transmission or PMTCT without timely and effective HIV treatment during pregnancy half of HIV positive pregnant women will give birth to HIV positive babies. Further, without antiretroviral therapy or IRV, those infants will likely die before their second birthday. Less than 10% of pregnant women in Indonesia access PMTCT service and miss opportunities for early HIV screening and treatment for pregnant women remain a huge challenge. So it's interesting to resolve them. And this is the program of PMTCT or Preventing Mother to Child Transmission is implementing HIV testing as a part of PMTCT in Indonesia is mandatory for, week, for pregnant women and must carry out once during the first antenatal care visit. Unfortunately, the HIV testing policy in Indonesia still has loopholes for the mother or the patient to refuse to take the HIV test. HIV testing in pregnant women is only about 13.38%, uh, 30, although 98% do pregnancy checks at health facilities. Early diagnosis needs to be done, especially in pregnant women as an essential condition that needs to be known is childbirth and breastfeeding. Health workers are required to offer HIV testing but the mother's voluntary willingness determines the, at, at, uh, the, the HIV test. Lack of uh, understanding, uh, lack of knowledge, and stigma make not all pregnant women willing or afraid to do blood tests in the laboratory. And this is uh, the solution for our research uh, about digital healthcare, uh, namely extreme. Okay, extreme um, innovative strategy for every uh, pregnant woman in the prevention of HIV AIDS by utilizing website based information and communication technology. The extreme uh, is um, website consists of the five primary services, namely information. HIV AIDS, free online counseling, behavioral screening, location search information services for HIV test services, HIV test scheduling, and antiretroviral reminders, and for people with HIV AIDS or people living with HIV. This media is an HIV service solution integrated with digital system and making it easier for them to access it's IV services so you can uh, access in www.extreme.org but unfortunately it's uh, about the Indonesian so it which is not developed sorry and I can develop in the next year maybe so uh, this is methods results and conclusions uh, to measure the influence of digital health care and the implementation trial pilot study use random cluster sampling to select uh, seven intervention and seven control sites in Yogyakarta City, Indonesia. Seven intervention health facilities use the extreme website for three months uh, from January through April 2022 to educate and do HIV counseling with pregnant women patients. And uh, the after after a uh, randomization process uh, was carried out in the treatment and control group the research assistant conducted a pretest through a questionnaire to find out knowledge about its IV AIDS susceptibility of its IV self-efficacy social norms perception of its IV risk response to the risk of HIV transmission and acceptance of digital media extreme blending between the subject of the study and the researcher from the allocation process to the analysis is applied to prevent 
information bias. Peer educators provide access to the URL of the HIV service website to be, to be test and provide socialization to the treatment group on how to access digital media for health literacy, counseling, and HIV risk screening uh, independently and uh, is, is about independent, uh, not uh, the health workers helping to them. And peer educators also assist treatment groups in online counseling before and after the study, subjects conducted self-screening using digital media. At the same time, the control group was also given a placebo in the form of access to the healthcare website URL to see information on HIV test scheduling. Meanwhile, education and screening are carried out by peer educators through programs that have been implemented in the form of providing leaflets, as well as counseling services and HIV screening directly. The duration of the intervention is six weeks, with follow-up by peer educators every week. The study subjects of the treatment and control group will be given an HIV test card that can be asked for a clinic stem when conducting uh, HIV testing. This card is evidence of whether the study subject has had an HIV test or not, so it's uh, very important. After six weeks, the research assistant will ask the treatment and control group research subjects to fill out the questionnaire during the pretest and report whether or not they have done an HIV test by collecting an HIV test card. A research inter intervention process is completed, analysis has been carried out, and proven efficacy. Researchers will also socialize and provide digital media access to the control group to get the same benefits as the treatment group. So it is the uh, part of the trial um, about three months, but the duration of the intervention only six, six weeks. And the all uh, about the intervention is uh, three months and the results extreme website was designed for use on mobile phones to improve its IV testing among pregnant women hot workers managed to record uh, 1594 visits and were able to increase its IV testing by 6.7 percent in pregnant women also the extreme pilot demonstrated the feasibility of implementing a digital healthcare integrated solution in a low research setting. Hardware cap capacity building and patient self care into a single robust and re responsive system. So, the extreme pilot demonstrated the feasibility of implementing a digital, digital healthcare integrated solution in a low resource and uh, especially in Indonesia and in low and middle income countries. Uh, and the last uh, slide is conclusion of the, our study. Although the implementation phase was only uh, three months, or uh, about six weeks until three months, the pilot generated evidence that extreme could increase its IV testing uptake among uh, pregnant women. The cohort studies are needed to estimate the, the effect over a longer duration. So I think uh, the recommendation of the next studies is uh, important because uh, is it uh, the, for the evaluation of extreme or about the follow up uh, in extreme uh, to scale up innovation in the next uh, step or the next time. Okay. Yeah, thank you so much. Uh, do you have any question? Thank you and thank you for the coming and for feedback. Thank you, Daddy. Thank you, Rizka. So um, there aren't currently any questions in the um, in the public chat. So if you've got any questions for Rizka, if you want to pop them there, uh, that would be really helpful. Rizka, when do you plan on um, it doing the next round of um, of interviews or, or um, of your study? 
yeah uh, i think uh, i will to develop the digital healthcare in the next uh, aplikasi uh, maybe in mobile mobile application not only in website uh, and i add uh, the uh, feature uh, in the anti retroviral treatment uh, reminder and also not only in pregnant women but also in the other um, community maybe in the uh, community in adolescent or in the next uh, community in other community among with not only in pregnant women maybe daily. oh that's exciting yeah so you're going to extend it to to you sticking with women or are you going to extend it to men as well yeah uh in the in this year uh i do uh in the only in pregnant woman and adolescent uh in because it is a phd thesis my phd thesis uh yeah. and the next the next uh research maybe i will to um explore explore in other community and the develop in the in the next um scale up to the next uh feature maybe uh, not only in website and i open the collaboration with other researchers to uh exploring and to develop the application so it can move in the next con country or the next city yeah with the, the other language <laughs> Oh, excellent. Awesome. Oh, well done.